I am here with Darren Stewart. Darren, this matchup was definitely a fan favorite. You know, like two powerful strikers, but you threw a curveball in there. Yeah. You had a different game plan and it worked. How happy are you? I'm very happy. I knew what the crowd want. I knew what Cage Royal want. And, oh, sorry. It's I knew what the crowd want. I knew what Cage Royal want. I knew what everyone wanted. But I'm on this yin and yang. Mm -hmm. I can do that, but let's, let's mix up a bit. Let's show people I can do it. You know, I can do a bit of everything. And uh, I'll show that today. Yeah. You definitely can do a little bit of everything. And you, you've got some moves. We all know that. Where do you feel the freest? In the cage or on the dance floor? Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely feel the freest on the dance floor. Um, but I do love it in the cage. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have like a dance celebration or something like that. After you know victory. what? I think that would go you viral. You, you need to work on one. No, you know what? Yeah. Ox, uh, speak, speak to Graham, man. He could bring some old footage. When I used to win on cage back in the day, I used to do like a little shuffle of the feet. I don't know where that went. I don't know. I got to UFC maybe and just pressure got on me. I just stopped dancing. So I should bring it back. You're right. Yeah. I'll start dancing more after the, mm -hmm. after the ring, after the fight. You are a veteran in this game, obviously. What motivates you? What is next for you? Oh, God, veteran. Oh, that good thing about having that word, man. Yeah, I've made it. I've made it. Um, what's next for me? I want to fight in July. I want to fight in July, man. I don't want to hear about the, the cards full up and that. I've got to keep the ball rolling. Um, there was some. No, nah, no one yet. No one yet. I'll think about it when I get back home. But, you know, I'm grateful to win, but I'm very hard on myself. Very hard on myself. And there was stuff in that fight that I used to work on. But I can only work on these things if I get more experience. I can't be fighting once in a while. I need to be active at least three in a year or something. I don't like the the three month, four month gap, you know? It's not really good for me because it, it starts to show in my game. Even though I've got the heart to win, it starts to show in my game. So I train there 24 seven, but you need the the live experience. So I want to try and go again in July, God willing. If not, where was after that? So July, London. July, yeah, yeah, 21st? Yeah, 21st. yeah, 21st, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be it, that's the one, yeah. Please. <laughs> you were paying respect to your uncle tonight. Sorry for your loss. Is yes, there anything you. you would like to tell us about him? Um, yeah, Uncle Val, DJ Val, DJ Valentino. Um, I don't want no one. We don't want no family members to pass. But you know, like in that family, you've got that one family member, that peacemaker. He reminds me a lot like me. Like when there's, there's trouble in the family and that, I'm always in the middle. He's always in the middle. You know, you play the music, he'll get people together, he'll have fun. He was that guy. And uh, it was sad that he went. And again, I'll say it again. Same with any other family member. If they go, it'll be sad. But you know, there's one person in that family and they remind me a lot like me. So yeah, it's sad, but I did this for him. So yeah. yeah. Sorry for your loss again. Congratulations. No worries. Thank you.